Hey everybody, Shane here from Shane's Craft Beer View. Um, I'm just going to do a really quick video here. Um, when I was doing my live last Friday on my new live channel, uh, I'll put the link in the description for that. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> Sorry, shameless plug. Um, while I was doing the live, uh, my wife came downstairs and uh, she's like, hey, she goes, this was sitting at the front door. This is a box of beer mail from Alan from One Flight Down. So I'm very excited to get into this. Uh, sorry it take me, took me so long to get to this, Alan. Um, I've not opened this yet. Um, like I said, it arrived while I was doing my live on Friday night. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to that. I'll put the link in the description. Shameless plug, I'm sorry. Um, uh, and then Saturday I had Brian the Beer Snob here all the way up from Atlanta. That was very, very exciting. Uh, so I got together with him and Ray and Paul from the Elkanauts. Uh, that video is also on my channel, check that out. Um, but yeah, so I'm very, very excited to get into some of these beers that Alan sent me. So I'm sorry, Alan, it took so long. Um, I have not opened this up yet. Uh, I just cracked the top so I didn't have to struggle with, uh, you know, the going through the, trying to cut the tape off because sometimes that can be a bit of a challenge. Okay, so we got lots of packing paper in here. That's good. Got to protect those cans, even though they're wrapped in, oh, there we go. Okay, so it's kind of hard for you guys. Sorry, I'm off to the side a little bit here because of where I got the stuff all done first things first this is freaking fantastic i like this already shakluk stickers that's right so then when i hook i open up a beer that alan gave me i can do that shakluk that is awesome thank you alan those are great looking stickers buddy i like those that's something i've got to do i gotta get some stickers made up because i do not have any stickers or coasters i know dave sent me up a coaster recently Okay, so let's get into the first couple beers here, guys, and we'll see what Alan has sent us. Oh, from Sucrums Brewing, which is a brewery I've had several times, thanks to Alan. Um, this is the Wilhelm Scream Double IPA, coming in at 8% alcohol by volume. Uh, the Wilhelm Scream, if I'm not mistaken, Alan can correct me in the comments. Um, I believe this is a this is a real, this is that really famous scream. I think like you'll you'll hear this on a lot of. Um, a lot of movies and stuff they it's one of those uh, sound clips that they've used over and over again for like 50 years or something like that uh, is that right Alan I think that's right it's a it's a pretty famous scream if you heard it go go look up Wilhelm scream I believe that's how it's pronounced Wilhelm um, you will definitely definitely know uh, <laughs> what what that scream is like oh yeah I've heard that like lots of times in lots of different movies anyway quit talking Shane let's get into the beer you said you were gonna make this quick dummy Okay, so this one, oh, this is interesting. Oh, from Kilter. I love Kilter beers. And this is a fantastic looking can. This is called the Fog Machine Double IPA. Um, it has their Kilter logo, which is uh, the little octopus with a bunch of like this, uh, a pink smoke bomb kind of thing going off behind it. And it's just a black can. I love that. Even the top is black. Check that out. That is awesome, Alan. Thank you so much. That'll, that looks great. That's some good can art right there. As you usually get from Sucrums, they got some pretty decent stuff that they do. Incorporating that little uh, octopus of theirs in there. Okay, also from Sucrums Brewing, this is a California Common at 5% alcohol, and this is called the MacGuffin. That looks pretty cool. Macu that's, kind of, that's kind of an interesting kind of name, MacGuffin. I, there must be a story behind that. Uh, yeah, there's a little story on the back. I'm not going to read it now. I'll read it when I do the review. Um, just to not give it away. Okay, so let's get rid of that packaging. We'll dive deeper into Alan's box. Oh, that didn't sound right. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see what we got here. One more beer here from Alan. Oh, this is a oh, this is a new brewery that I've never seen from Alan before. Um, this is from the Fargo Fargo Brewing Company. This is a small can too, 355 mil. This is called the Nutty Nana Peanut Butter Porter. Tell me that's not going to be delicious. Pretty cool can art on this one as well. I'll give you guys a quick little look at the can art uh, on all these in just a minute. Uh, so it's peanut butter, banana, and chocolate. 5.6% alcohol by volume. Sounds tasty as heck. Now as I'm digging more and more of these beers out of here, um, if anybody's looking forward to uh, seeing these reviews, sorry, that's probably really loud. I'm sorry, I just realized I had that packaging opening right in front of the mic. Um, if anybody's looking forward to these reviews, uh, you'll have to wait a bit. As you guys know, I'm in the middle of doing my advent calendar now, so these reviews probably will not come out until January sometime. Uh, okay, from Sucrums, this is their Gingerbread Star Beast Imperial Stout at 10.5. Now, I do I do believe I've had the Star Beast before, but not the gingerbread version of it, so that'd be good. 
I don't remember if I reviewed Star Beast. That might have been one of those beers that I was just like, ah, that beer's been in the fridge way too long. I'm just going to drink it and not review it. You guys know how that happens sometimes. All my beer review fans, anyway. Okay, so we got a couple more beers in here. Oh, excuse me. Uh, we've got three more to go through. And then uh, we'll cut this off really quick. Like I said, I'm trying to do this fairly quickly. Uh, okay, from Devil May Care Brewing. Okay. Uh, this is the Get Up Off of That Fang. A soulful brown ale. Awesome. That is super awesome. Alan knows I love, well, most people do. I love brown ales, and they are hard to find. Um, even talk as some of the other brew tubers, it's, it's not a style that's... Uh, uh, you can find a lot. Uh, this is 5.3% alcohol by volume, and it looks kind of, uh, there's little, uh, I don't know what you call those, like little racing stripes on the side. Look very, uh, very 70s kind of vibe off that can, so that's cool. I like that. Now, I do know Drew got a package from Alan recently, too. Um, I don't know if they're the same beers, because I honestly didn't watch it, because I didn't want to ruin the surprise in case they were the same, which is absolutely fine, Alan. I don't care. I'll get the same beers as Drew. It doesn't matter to me from Little Brown Jug, which is this fantastic glass that Alan got. I love this glass. This is like my favorite glass now. So at least I have a beer to put in it now. That's an actual Little Brown Jug. Uh, this is the Chai Golden Ale. That's kind of cool. 6.5% uh, alcohol by volume. Um, that looks pretty cool. I, I've liked the uh, couple Little Brown Jugs that I've had. Uh, kind of neat little canner. It's almost like a, again, this is like a retro kind of look, almost like a sunset kind of thing. And I, the first thing that comes to my mind is like Miami Vice for some reason. I don't know why. That has, looks nothing like anything that has to do with Miami Vice. But that's just the first thing that popped in my head. Okay, and finally, from Alan. We have... Oh, this looks bloody fantastic. Holy crap! What great can art this is. So this is from Drecker Brewing. And this is their Ectogasm India Pale Ale. I don't know how well you guys can see the can art on this. But I will do a quick sweep of the cans here. That is a fantastic looking can. I love the can art on that from Drekker. Jeepers Creepers. Uh, what is the ABV? It, I can't find it. I know it's on here. It's on here somewhere because it's Canadian so it's got to be on. Oh no, this is not Canadian. This is from Fargo, North Dakota. So it is not on there and I cannot see it anywhere. Where the heck did you get a Drekker beer from then, Alan? Are they available in Winnipeg? I honestly don't know. Um, yeah, the... Oh, there it is. Wow, did they ever write that really small and in a weird spot? 7% alcohol by volume. So there you go, guys. There's all the fantastic beers that Alan has sent me down. These look absolutely fantastic. I'm really, really, really looking forward to these. Anyway, Alan, thank you very much for sending these beers. I'm so looking forward to... Uh, trying these out as well as watching the videos of the beers. I sent you just recently. So uh, yeah, so that's a quick little unboxing guys Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time